All right, welcome back, Pokemon fans. We are jumping into uh, the Independence Missouri Premier Challenge uh, following the midseason showdown that we just finished up earlier. Uh, this tournament is going to be best of one, uh, so have uh, agreed to uh, commit to some hijinks. Um, but anyways, let's get into it. On the left side of your screen, you have Ricky Green, who just placed second in the midseason showdown. Um, using a team of Xerneas, Rayquaza, Incineroar, Amoongus, Tapu Fini, and Nihilego. And on the right, a little bit more fun, um, but we'll see if it can be effective, is John Masters using a team of Cresselia, Trap Inch, Oranguru, Kyogre, Incineroar, and uh, Necrozma, Duskmane. I think that's not Solgaleo. Yeah, it's Necrozic, Duskmane. Perfect. Um, so, obviously, everybody's looking at your boy, Trap Inch. Um... John has used this in past formats um, at some of these best of one shenanigan PCs, as we, uh, you know, as some of our locals so lovingly call them. Um, we've seen Trap Inch using uh, Groundium Z before um, for hilarity and shenanigans. Um, it does have access to Arena Trap or something, which can be useful. Um, naturally, you see that Oranguru and Necrozma Duskmane indicating uh, potentially a Trick Room mode which could be uh, very effective uh, given Trap Inch's low speed. Uh, we'll see if John chooses to bring that or if it's just sort of a Pokemon put in like a, on a five Mon team as a flex slot. Um, but let's take a look. I'm pretty excited to see uh, what these players have brought. So uh, Ricky leading out with Nihilego and Incineroar. So um, that's going to offer him uh, fake out pressure as well as like potentially anti trick room pressure. So we do see that Ricky's Incineroar's Intimidate ability activates first, um, indicating that it's potentially uh, the fastest Incineroar on the field. Although with only uh, with only one instance, it's hard to judge if it is faster or if they happen to speed tie. Um, so Nihilego here can deal a good amount of damage to this Incineroar. However, it's very threatened by that Necrozma. Um, it's also pretty threatened by Incineroar just because of its very low um, physical defenses. So we're likely to see a fake out here um, from one or both players, kind of depending on where the uh, fake outs go into. Um, threatening with the, uh, you know, it's Trick Room mode. Um, so he opts to avoid the fake out and bring in Trap Inch. Everybody's favorite. That's what we're here to see. Um, so Trap Inch hit the field, and Nihilego uh, going straight for this Rockium Z uh, Continental Crush, likely into what was the Incineroar slot. Um, well, Tramp Trap Inch is able to take this attack. Well, Trap Inch, he's a little guy. Um, take that big Z move. And uh, there's a critical hit. Uh, potentially didn't matter, but there is a big, big KO. Um, not necessarily because Trap Inch is a huge threat, but because Nihilego scored a Beast Boost, which is going to be uh, very critical for it. So Duskmane, uh, Necrozma Duskmane, of course, uh, did flinch there uh, thanks to that fake out. Um, so John takes a, or uh, no, um, essentially for free here. So in comes Incineroar again. Um, now in, uh, John's Incineroar is, of course, threatening a fake out um, without having to worry about Ricky's Incineroar faking it out first. Um, so that is a decent position for it to be in. Of course, uh, Necrozma can opt to set Trick Room now if it so chooses. Um, it wouldn't be a bad time to go for it. Um, Nihilego, of course, could hit Trick Room in, uh, you know, to like counter that. Um, but also Nihilego. Um, is not going to be able to deal a ton of damage to Necrozma um, due to it resisting rock type and being immune to uh, steel types. Um, you know, and this uh, Nihilego doesn't necessarily carry Trick Room. So Incineroar is switching out in favor of Amoongus. Um, Amoongus will be very strong in response to a Trick Room mode. Um, able to spread some spores. It's going to be um, potentially the fastest thing on the field. Some people have been using like max speed Amoongus um, 
you know, to outspeed like Min Speed Incineroar. So if that is the case, then this Incineroar would be able to move before Amoongus in Trick Room. Um, it's hard to say um, how Ricky has trained his Amoongus and obviously how John has trained his Incineroar and Necrozma Duskmane. Um, you know, so it could be tough. And no, this Amoongus is a, is a slow boy. Um, under Trick Room, it moves before anything else on the field. And so we do see that Amoongus firing off a spore into Necrozma Duskmane as a Flare Blitz connects with Amoongus, um, brings it down to t just 27 HP, which is uh, not a lot. But uh, of course, Amoongus is still sticking around. And this Power Gym from Nihilego connects with Incineroar, picks up a KO. And so now uh, Nihilego is at plus two. And we'll see John's final Pokemon coming in here. Will it be enough to, uh, you know, wrap up the game? Wrap up this game. He's got several turns of Trick Room remaining. Um, so we do see a Kyogre coming in here. Um, Kyogre, unfortunately, is going to be slower than the Amoongus in Trick Room, uh, most likely, uh, given that the Incineroar moved after Amoongus and everything else. Like it's unlikely that the Kyogre is going to be slower than Incineroar, especially given that it is a uh, primal reversion, so it's not carrying an Iron Ball. Um, so this puts John, uh, excuse me, this puts Ricky in a pretty strong position. He does have to contend with the Trick Room, but uh, Amoongus is, you know, having a heck of a time out here, you know, being the slowest thing on the field. So Kyogre opts to protect, does not want to take a Spore right now. Uh, John hoping that his Necrozma will wake up on this turn and it does and gets a Sunsteel Strike off. Um, to pick up a KO on either of these two Pokemon at this point depending on what he chose to target. He did choose to attack the Amoongus so gets rid of the threat of Amoongus which is really big there and uh, Kyogre takes that Protect or takes that Sludge Bomb into the Protect uh, you know surviving for a turn so see uh ricky's fourth pokemon he may opt to bring back incineroar gets another intimidate onto the necrozma which of course is going to be a big intimidate there since necrozma is uh generally a physical necrozma duskmane is generally a physical attacker um uh Nihilego is threatened by both of these pokemon a big water type attack coming from kyogre in rain uh, is going to deal a ton of damage to both Pokemon, and of course, a Sunsteel Strike, even at minus two, into Nihilego's um, very low defenses is going to deal a lot. Uh, into that Nihilego, so we will uh, we'll see. Um, naturally, Ricky does have Fake Out potential here. Um, chooses to try and preserve it. Rayquaza coming in here, so that's going to allow. Uh, Incineroar to fire off a fire type attack if it so chooses um, but it looks like ah an earth power into what was the Nihilego slot um, so it would have been a uh, special attack um, hitting Nihilego's stronger special defense um, but that Rayquaza switch in taking no damage from it um, thanks to its flying typing so Incineroar still not super happy about facing off in front of this uh Kyogre, but um, Rayquaza will be able to take away the uh, you know the rain completely by Mega Evolving, um, and potentially help Incineroar survive. You know, a single Water type attack. So we do see Incineroar switching out here, um, wants to have that fake out pressure for a later date. Nihilego coming in, um, pretty risky um, considering it's likely to take a, you know, it could be taking like a water spout right now or an origin pulse or even an earth power since we did see that, uh, you know, earth power coming from uh, Necrozma Duskmane earlier. Um, so we do see the Sunsteel Strike from Necrozma into the Rayquaza and a Water Spout coming out from Kyogre. That's a big Water Spout into Nihilego, picks up a KO, and so now we're down to 2v2.
So we will be seeing Incineroar coming back in here. Um, it does have fake out pressure, and it has now, um, you know, dropped this Necrozma to I believe minus three, um, which is really big. Uh, and we are going to be seeing, I believe this is the last turn of Trick Room, so Incineroar can fake out one or both of these threats for a uh, burn that last turn of Trick Room and allow Rayquaza to um, have a, you know, speed advantage once Trick Room expires. Um, however, if he's unable to KO the Necrozma, uh, you know, Necrozma could potentially just set Trick Room again and we're back to square one. So we do see the Kyogre going for a Protect, doesn't want to eat that Fake Out, and uh, Necrozma also going for the Protect, um, neither one wanting to get Faked Out and take damage for nothing. So we do see the Fake Out into Necrozma and a Swords Dance coming out from uh, Rayquaza, so that's going to set it um, set it up in a huge way. Uh, being at plus two attack is going to allow it to deal a massive, massive amount of damage uh, to either of these two Pokemon. Uh, you know, Scent is going to deal a ton of damage to Kyogre. So we do see the Dragon Ascent coming out from Rayquaza uh, going into likely the Kyogre slot and that is going to pick up a KO there, um, thanks to that plus two attack. Uh, this Necrozma is still active for um, one more attack. The Incineroar going for a Flare Blitz into uh, the Necrozma, um, dealing around 40% uh, give or take, activating a weakness policy, and uh, Necrozma goes for yet another Trick Room. Uh, so this is sort of a tough spot for Necrozma, though. Um, you know, especially if this... Uh, if if this Rayquaza is holding a Focus Sash item, uh, you know, even though it's going to be resisted, a uh, Sunsteel Strike, or excuse me, a Dragon Ascent, or even a Crunch, which uh, some Necrozma, or some Rayquaza's having carrying is going to deal a ton of damage. So Earth Power into Incineroar misses the KO, leaving it with uh, just 3 HP, but Incineroar able to eat its berry and be just fine for now. Firing off another Flare Blitz into the Necrozma, that's going to be super effective. Uh, you know, putting it down to just a sliver of HP and gets the burn for good measure. Uh, however, this Necrozma is going to be taking another attack from the Rayquaza, so uh, oh, maybe there wasn't a burn. Maybe I was just seeing the recoil damage. I'm sorry. Um, oh, there was. Excellent. But, uh, you know, Rayquaza hits the Necrozma with a uh, plus two um, Dragon Ascent um, for the KO. And that sends Ricky Green to 1 0 to start off this premiere challenge. Uh, so, a little sad we didn't get to see what. Uh, the Trap Inch did, you know, he just came in and got bopped by a uh, Rocky MZ from Nihilego. Um, a little unfortunate in that regard, I suppose, but uh, on getting Trick Room up, uh, Ricky, you know, by the time Trick Room came up, he had enough resources and he had that Amoongus, which was super critical in that matchup to really swing things in his favor. So that's it for this round. We'll be back in just a couple minutes with round two.